Hey, this is Coach Adrian, and welcome to day three. I've got a cracking workout plan for you for this one. So what I need to do is usual. We've got to get you nice and warm, first of all. So I either want you to march it out on the spot, bringing those knees up, arms pumping, or if you want to go straight into a nice jog. We're not going too high with the knees if we're jogging, just to loosen out the body a little bit. Remember, the warm-up is just to kind of shake the body out, 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 out a little bit, wake it up, and get you ready for the workout that's planned. So as you're doing your jogging or your marching, keep the knees going. I want you to bring your arms to here. Hold that position and I want you to either go half jack, one foot at a time, or go both together, okay? And we're looking to squeeze your elbows and wrists together in front of your chest. Start to open up your chest. Basically, as your chest, get your back and your shoulders nice and warm. As usual, once we get going, everything's gonna be working. That's why everything's gonna get nice and warm. Lovely, give me a few more seconds. And then from there, well, what you do is either march on the spot, flicking your heels to your backside, or again, we're taking a little light jog. We're not kicking your bum just yet, or we're not kicking your bum just yet, but we're just aiming in that direction. So what you start to feel is the front of your legs will get a little stretch, but it starts to wake up the back of those legs as well. And again, nice cardio bit of work for us as well. Big moves, so we really get the body going, get the lungs working as well. Now from there, I'm going to show you from the side, we're going to take either a spotty dog, swapping your feet over, and taking the hands up nice and nice, about shoulder high. Lunges is your go-to move, okay, and that's always the same when we do spotty dogs, we can always jump and change to lunges. So either or, I'm going to go for spotty dogs, you can do either or, it's all good, all works, that's the main thing, and then give me three, two, let's go back into it again, and again, either jog it out, or march it, we're going to try and go just a little bit higher with the knees this time. Still working those arms. They're still pumping, nice and strong. Lovely. And again, you can always jog and change. I'm gonna get back into a little jog. As you're jogging, or as you're marching for me, again, bring your arms around in front of your chest. Hold that position for a few seconds. And then when you're ready, again, either half jack, or give you that full jack motion. Again, bringing those elbows and wrists right over in front of your chest. Get that little squeeze on the upper body. We get a little bit warmer, a little bit looser in the upper body before we get it working in a bit. Give me three, two, we go straight to those butt kicks again. So again, just maybe kicking the heels a little bit closer to your bum, but keep running the arms. Okay, so what this does is helps loosen out the shoulders. Very important, warm everything up. Nice and light on your feet. Lovely stuff. Whew. Give me three, give me two. Give me one, and again we change into those spotty dots. Just taking the hands, the shoulder high. If you want to go into your lunges, we go into your lunges. It's all good, everything's working. That's what I said. Everything's moving, everything works. Then it's all good. And then we're going to go through that warm up routine just one more time. So you ready? So either march it or jog it out one more time. Knees go maybe a little bit higher if you can. We'll keep those arms pumping though for me. Whew. That's good. So it's your last time through. And then we're going to go straight into your routine. So let's make sure we get our body super warm now. Last few seconds ready. Okay, again, bring those arms around in front. Hold it there. When you're ready, pec jacks. So again, lovely single leg. We'll put both legs going if you can. And this will really help. Get you warmer, get you looser. Fantastic. Well done. You've still got a few seconds to go. So give me three. Give me two, and give me one. Again, take those butt kicks. Again, run it. There you go, if you can, run it. See where you go a little bit higher with the heels this time. Maybe a little bit closer to the bum. Woo. Really wake up those legs. That's lovely, well done. Just give me a few more seconds. Three, two, and again, so either take the spotty dots. So again, you've got the option here, and maybe just go a little bit longer with those arms, or, Again, take it into your lunges, just to finish off these last few seconds now. Just give me five more, four more, three, two, lovely, and one. Fantastic. Woo. So, we're going to set up your first exercise. So, if you need a drink, now is always a really good time to get one, but obviously pay attention to what we're going to do. So, we're going to do four pulses into one squat. We're on my legs to start. So, I'm going to show you from the side. We're going to sit into a low squat. Give me four low. After you've done four low, just come up nice and tall. Sit back into your four low again. To make this harder, sit deeper. So if your legs are feeling it a little bit, you just stay a little bit taller for me. Are you ready? In three, whoo, in two, in one. So we go four low. One, two, three, four. Then you just do one full squat and then straight back down again. 
So just set into your own rhythm on this. Use your squat position though. When we're low, we're still keeping our heads and chest high. So the work was sitting in, bending the knees, sitting the hips back. Make sure you get the legs working hard. Lovely. And then we'll just go one more. Plank next. Beautiful. So we're going to go down. Use your mat for this and we're going to go to forearm plank. Okay, for the first position. So I'm going to set you up onto your forearms. So, forearms come down. Hands in front of your face. And I want you to focus on your head, looking at your hands. Now you can be on knees or toes. Nice, straight body for me. We're going to be here for around about 25, 30 seconds. So good, strong hold. Squeeze your belly and squeeze your bum. So we're holding that whole middle nice and strong. Oh yeah, and remember to breathe. <laughs> it's kind of important. Let's see if we've got 10 more seconds. So again, if you need to, you just drop down. You can always relax for three, for two, and that last one, lovely. So you can always relax. Okay, if you start to feel it, just ease off that position. Okay, so back on your feet. What I want you to do now is come into a low squat. Drop down, and we're gonna tap. One foot at a time, we're just going side to side. Just tapping the toe down. 15 seconds, and then we're gonna go high knees. We're gonna do this twice to get the heart rate going. To make it harder, sitting deeper. Three, two, shake the legs out, one, two, high knees. Again, either run it or march it. And again, it's getting those legs going as much as you can, as high as you can. Nice and strong for me. So short blast to get that heart rate going. Woo. That's good, that's good. Give me three, give me two, give me one. Sit straight back down again. Tap that toe from side to side. So the goal is to keep the shoulders at the same height. And we're just using our legs, just tapping side to side. Just breathe. We're gonna do those high knees again, so just breathe. In three, in two, in one, 15 seconds, go again. Nice and strong. Woo. So knees are going, arms are pumping. It's only 15, we can do this. Woo. Nice, well done. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Chance to breathe, so we stretch out the mats. We're gonna come down. Come onto all fours for me. Okay, so we're here, facing upwards. So we're gonna be heels down, hands down. And what I want you to do is have your fingers pointing towards your bum, lift your body off the floor, slow, as you raise one leg in the air, bring the opposite hand over and touch the foot. Now you can go straight leg in the air, or you can bend the foot just over the other knee here, which is a little bit easier. Just take the time. And just give me one more on each side. And then I want you to just go down onto your bum, down onto your forearms, and we're gonna go into abs just for 20 seconds, one at a time. I want you to push one leg out and pull the other leg in. Nice and strong. To make this easier, just keep the movement a little bit smaller. If you wanna make it harder, just push it a little bit further. Last couple of seconds. We've got one more exercise to go though. We're saving a good one for you to finish. Three, two, and one, lovely. So I'm saving a good exercise for you so we can back up onto your feet, keep your mats close by, we're coming back to those. So what I want you to do from here, again, I'm gonna show you from the side, take your right leg back into a lunge. From here, I just want you to sit your weight straight down, fingertips come onto the floor, very light fingers. Your right foot, we're gonna tap it in, tap it out, we're gonna keep going, okay? So we're gonna put that as much weight as you can on your left foot. 15 seconds each leg, are you ready? Three. Two, one. So we stay nice and low, and we just tap that foot in and out. And very light on your fingers, so you get as much weight from that leg as you can. Only a couple more seconds. Ready, last one. And then what we'll do is come up, shake out that left leg. Yeah. Now we take that left leg back, just give it a little shake. Take out that left leg back, sit straight down, put as weight on your right leg, fingertips for balance, let's tap that left leg in and out. So we're staying nice and low, it's just the toes, tap, tap, nice and strong. Woo. Oh, right leg, feel good, feels good. Go three, go two, and last one, lovely. And as usual, we're not gonna let you rest, so give the legs a little shake, and we're gonna go into your four pulses and one squat, if you wanna make this harder this time. Four pulses, go one squat, jump. I'll show you on the first one, but I'll leave it to you. So we stay nice and low, one, two, three, four, and then you can hit that single jump if you want, or stick to that squat. One, two, three, four, power up. Yeah, 
So this is where we start getting the legs working a little bit more. Now we know the moves, so I'm going to move you just a little bit quicker between the exercises. Got enough time for one more. That's a four and your one. Do your one as well. Lovely. Plank position. Four arms again for me. Okay, so again, it's about 30 seconds. Chance to breathe. Try and control your breathing when you're here. Step back. Hold. Breathe. Okay, hands in front of your face. Remember, to look after your neck, keep looking at your hands. So that holds that neck in its most natural position. Whew. Okay, that's halfway. If you can, keep holding. Remember, you can listen to your body though. If you need to, go to knees, or if you need to, come out of that position and just rest. Give me three. Give me two. Last one. And bring it back up. Lovely. So let's set into that squat position again. Come down into that low squat. And we're doing our 15 and 15. So hold that position. Tap the toe. Side to side. Just tap. Tap. Good. And again, if you want to make it harder, you just go a little bit deeper. So there's big thigh muscles I'm going to work hard to hold your body position. Are you ready? Three, two, let's go. Last one. High knee sprints. Go. And again, everything you can get out of your legs now. Really big, fast pace. So we get the heart rate going. Woo. Get the body moving. Now remember, it's not a marathon, it is a sprint. So all out effort right now. Woo. Lovely. Three, two, though I said lovely, we drop back down again. Same again, tap to the side. Sitting low. Only two times through. Oh, only. Makes it sound easy, but we know it's working. Good. Last couple of seconds. Give me one more to each side. Finish off with high knees again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn those legs over. Brilliant. It's all about pushing. Really getting the effort out of your body. Nice and short. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Love it. Chance to breathe again. Bring it down to the floor. So, uh, Set your mats up, opposite hand, foot touch. Again, a little bit of balance and control on this one. So once you're there, we lift. Take your time. If you've not done this before, it's just a different way of hitting the abs, okay? That's all. But you've got to deal with the upper and lower body balance at the same time. Give me one more on each side. Once you've done it, gently come down onto your bum, then down onto your forearms, one leg in, one leg out. Running those legs, knees coming into your chest. Give those abs a little squeeze. It's good. It's got to be working now for me. Okay, go three more. Go two more. And then you go last one. Fantastic. Let's come up. Woo. And we've got your sprint starts. So that's all these ones, otherwise known as the leg burner. So let's take your right leg back. Again, very light on the fingertips, okay? Remember, it's not a white knuckle rise. Just want to go light, put the weight on that left leg, okay? That front leg is doing a lot of work. And then we just tap that foot in and out. Oh, that's where you start to feel the fire burning on the left side. We need two more. Oh, and then the last one. Nice. Come up. Shake it out. Let's go to the other leg. Okay, take the left leg back. Hopefully it'll be all right. Okay, set the position up, get your balance, get your control, tap that foot in and out. Nice and strong again. Okay, good. Go three, go two, go one. Nice. So I'm going to let you even have less rest now. Okay, this is your final time through. Four squats and either four pulses on either one squat or a jump. Last little push. One, two, three, four. I'm going to hit those jumps. Two, three, four. Four, so nice and strong now to finish off. So we're getting to your last few minutes. Let's make it a good few minutes. Come on, nice, lovely, and again. And let's go for one more, so last one, that's the four and the one. Brilliant, plank. Woo, let's get down. Okay, so again, set your forearms up, hands in front of your face. Keep looking at the hands, it's gonna be a little bit tougher, a little more challenging, third time through. So set your position again. Knees are always there if you need them, okay? But make sure you're kneeling on your mats. So remember, always look after your body. But if you can, challenge the hold. Breathe for me. Woo. We still have a few seconds. Lovely, it's good, it's good, it's good. We're back on your feet next. Three, two, one, straight up. 
Come into your low squat position. Sit into it. Tap that toe from side to side. Okay, again, refocus really on your legs. Working super hard here. That little toe tap, toe tap. Oh, two times to remember if it's a total of about a minute on this one. Okay, high knee sprints, ready, go. And again, think sprint as much as you get out of your body now. So it means you've got to pop the arms. You've got to drive the knees. That's it, that's it. Three, two, one, sit straight back down. Last time here. Woo. Tapping out, tapping out. Come on, thighs, stay with me. Nice. Three, two, one, sprints. A little push. Whoa, there we go, there we go. Working hard for it. This is good. We can see the finish line now. Inside. Three, two, one. Bring it down again. Breathe. Okay, offset and foot touch. So use your mats for this one. Set up your position. Okay, nice and strong. Lift up. Just go slow. You just got to control it now. Control your breathing. Control your body position. Last two. Final one. Drop down. Gently onto your bum. Onto your forearms. Straight in. Run the knees in. Nice and strong. And I'm just... Oh, got your sprint starts to finish. Three. Two. And the last one. Fantastic. Sprint starts. It's going to be your final one. So, let's set it up for me. Take your right leg back. Light fingers now. Get as much weight on your left leg as you can. Very light fingers. Tap that leg in and out. Nice strong finish. Lovely. Go three, two, last one. No rest. Straight to the other side. Not even a chance to stretch it out. Shake it out. Let's go straight to work. Okay, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. That last little push. And again, here we go. Three, two, and that last one. Beautiful. So what I want you to do is bring it up, shake it out. If you've got a drink close by, take a few seconds. Always get a little bit of water in and then we're gonna start your stretches. But what I want you to do is just shake out those legs a little bit while we're doing that, okay? Excellent, so I hope you enjoyed that one. Another one, just getting everything working hard, getting everything done in that period of time that works. Works a treat. Whew. Right, feeling good? We gotta stretch. Get the nice bit after the hard work. So let's go right foot back, toes pointing forward, lean onto your front leg, calf stretch. Just focus on that stretch, focus on that lovely calf stretch. Step that foot in, we change over to the other side, same stretch, heels down, toes pointing forward, lean forward. Again, just control your breathing. Just breathe, 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 nice and steady. Lovely, from there, bring it in, either foot, doesn't matter, we're going to go thigh stretch, just go either leg. Heels, uh, heel to your bum, sorry, keep your knees together, just bend your legs slightly, feel that stretch in the front of the thighs. Okay, that's some good work on the legs, so make sure you really feel that stretch. Beauty, and then we change over, do the other side. Again, good stretch on those legs. So, excellent, good work, lovely. Okay, let's take the right foot. I'm going to show you from the side on this first one. Half a pace forward. Take that tip. Hands go to your left leg. So we always keep the chest up when we do this stretch. We focus on pulling your bum away from your knees. So it's this front leg we're stretching. You should feel it on the back of the thigh. So giving those hamstrings a good stretch. And then I'm going to show you from the front. We just go left foot forward. So from here, we always stay nice and tall. Keep the head above the level of your heart as you stretch out on this one. And let's finish off, hands come behind, lift up, chest and shoulders. So remember from that opposite hand foot touch, you want to get the shoulders nice stretch of your plank. Link in front, chin into your chest for your back stretch. Fantastic. And then we always get a nice little big stretch out. Whoa, and shake it out. Awesome work. So I hope you enjoyed day three, working well. So again, another little challenging routine. Get you going, get your body working slightly differently. Anyway, until day four, live life, live healthy, and I'll see you all again soon.